Grant Robertson. Well, Mr Speaker, taking a lecture from Paul Foster Bell about the founding fathers of the Labor Party is a bit rich. Mr Foster Bell told us that he was terrified of this legislation. Well, that makes him terrified of Malcolm Turnbull. <laughs> because this is the current policy of the Australian <laughs> government. So if Paul Foster Bell's terrified of a policy like this, he needs to get on the plane, get himself across to Canberra and talk to his mates in the Australian Liberal Party because this is what they support. So Mr Foster Bell and the other National Party members need to calm down a little bit and actually read what this bill is. Because in the end, as Tony Alexander, I think, has pointed out, New Zealand is in fact the outlier now. We're the outliers when it comes to this kind of legislation, where we're the ones who don't have mechanisms in place to support new first home buyers in New Zealand to get access into the housing market. We've talked a lot in this, on this side of the House, Mr Speaker, about the importance of increasing supply in the housing market. And there is absolutely no doubt that building more homes is critical to us solving the housing crisis, getting more New Zealanders into, their, into being able to buy their first home and, and dealing with the social housing issues that we've got. But we cannot leave the demand side of the equation out. And that's what this bill attempts to do. It is the nature of a private member's bill that it is only one step, because that's how private members' bills get written, and I congratulate my colleague Phil Twyford for putting it for, forward. It is not a silver bullet, but it is a step towards giving New Zealanders the chance to do something that is so important to our way of life in New Zealand, buying their own home. Because buying our own home isn't just about shelter. It's not just about the ability to have bricks and mortar around you. It is how we establish communities and neighbourhoods in New Zealand. And more and more in New Zealand, people are becoming isolated from their communities and neighbourhoods because they move around so much. Phil Twyford talked about the, nu the number of renters exceeding the number of home buyers in Auckland now. We need New Zealanders able to buy into the housing market so that they can put down roots, create those strong communities that are the bedrock of giving New Zealanders a decent life. That's what this is about, Mr Speaker. It's about the communities that have served New Zealand so well in the past when we've had higher levels of home ownership. Mr Speaker, this bill quite simply sets in place the rules that, as we say, are already in place in Australia, that say if somebody who is not a resident of New Zealand, who doesn't intend to live in New Zealand, only gets to buy into our property market if they're creating new houses. That's fair, Mr Speaker. That's what other countries do. And Paul Foster Bell threw a whole lot of irrelevant information onto the table when he started talking about his pride in migrants who had helped create this country. <laughs> I absolutely agree with him. And this bill gives those exact people the ability to buy into a house. In fact, what it does is, for somebody who's here on a skilled migrant visa, which isn't even a permanent resident visa, the ability to buy a house. So none of that diversionary nonsense that we heard from Paul Foster Bell is even contained in this bill. It provides the facility for people who are here, who want to live in New Zealand, who want to stay and make a commitment to purchase an existing home, and it provides for those from offshore if they do want to come to be able to build and invest here. And the question I put to National Party members is what is the value to New Zealand of allowing offshore speculators to speculate in our property market. What do we gain from that? We lose so much more than any gains Mr Seymour might want to stand up and talk about in a few moments. What we lose is the ability of New Zealanders to be able to get in to the, onto the property ladder, to be able to help create those um, um, good environments to, to, to raise families and to be able to, to build strong communities. Mr Speaker, um, the Labor Party has had this policy for some time. Mr Twyford's had the bill in the ballot for some time and he, he had it drawn out. It is our great concern that the government, knowing that, failed in the Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiations to protect the right of a future government to put this policy in place. In fact, they deliberately moved to make sure that a future government could not do that. That is a true shame, Mr Speaker, because a bill like this passed through this parliament would put us in line with other signatories to that agreement. Mr Speaker, 
Mr. Speaker, it, sorry, it, that Mrs. was seconds. See, oh, that's excellent. Seconds. I didn't hear a bell ring, uh, Mr. Speaker. No, it's a this five-minute speech. <laughs> Mr Speaker, this bill is a contribution to giving New Zealanders a chance to get into the property ladder, to treat them fairly. It is in line with um, legislation around the world and it should be supported across the House. Dr Jiang Yang.